My dear friends, this is ARD, your accounting teacher, and today we are going to discuss about IAS 8. International Accounting Standard 8, IAS 8, Accounting Policies, Changing in Accounting Estimates and Errors. IAS 8 basically deals with three items. One is change in accounting policy, another is change in accounting estimate, and then if there is a change in, if there is an error in the accounts. Now, what is accounting policy means? Accounting policies are some bases, some rules, some conventions, some measurement bases which are used when preparing financial statements. When we say financial statements, we mean income statements, statement of financial position, statement of cash flows, statement of changes in equity and notes to the accounts. What is an accounting policy? Uh, when making accounts, you need to select some policies. Although policies are basically uh, governed by IAS, International Accounting Standard, this means if you uh, want uh, to change something uh, according to, uh, uh, for example, in non-current assets, you are going to apply the non-current asset standard that is IS-16, property, plant and equipment. Uh, whenever we need to make an accounting policy, basically policies are governed by IS. Where a policy is not governed by IRS or where we do not have any guidance, management needs to make policies themselves. Now, we are discussing change in accounting policy. If the accounting policy is changed, uh, let me give you some example. This can be quite confusing sometimes. Let me give you an example. For example, if the management is uh, using first in, first out right now, uh, but previously they were using uh, last in, first out or maybe average costing, this means we have changed our accounting policy from uh, last in first out or F code to first in first out. If we have changed this method, this is known as change in accounting policy. If we change an accounting policy, uh, there is an application. There are two types of applications here. One is retrospective and one is prospective. A change in accounting policy is treated as a retrospective application. Now, what does the term retrospective means? Retrospective, you have to go back and change the policy as if the policy was always in place. Now what happens whenever we present account, for example, I am making account for 2019, I need to show some comparative figures. What are comparative figures? Comparative figures are basically data, uh, accounting data of previous years. Uh, Normally, 10 years previous data is shown in any financial statements means if I'm presenting financial statement for 2019, I have to show data for 2018, 17, 16. Again, I have to go back 10 years. For example, from 2009 to 2019, I'm showing 10 years of data. If the policy has been changed for pre uh, if I have changed policy now and the previous change was five years back. For example, from 2014 to 2019, I have to change all of the values from 2015. That is when the change took place last and now the current change. So uh, whenever I am going to change accounting policy, I want to go back and want to change all the figures. That is the comparative information should also be restated. So this is known as retrospective application. IS also mentions that if there is impracticability, this means if it is not possible due to some uh, thing that uh, there is impracticable, we, we cannot change policy going back in time. So what we need to do, we need to apply prospective application here as well. So uh, in change in accounting policy, there is always a retrospective application. Now let me give you some other examples of change in accounting policy. One we have already mentioned, change such as uh, from first in first out to last in first out or FCO method or something else. One more example can be uh, if we are changing measurement basis. For example, previously we used uh, cost method and now we are using fair value method for non-current assets. Previously, we used to keep our non-current assets on cost basis, that is historical cost concept, but now we are changing our policy now we are showing an asset non-current asset on fair value now this is also known as change in accounting policy
Now first let's me uh, let me move to change in accounting estimate what does an accounting estimate actually means now see my dear students whenever uh, management prepares accounts financial statements there are some things that are not clear cut and that are not accurate and we need to make some assumptions based on our experience and judgment there are some estimates need to be made for example if we buy an asset initially we thought that the asset could be used for four years that is the life is four years of a non current asset it is an estimated life again not the actual one uh, and uh, if the life is four years then the depreciation rate would be 25 percent each year if we are using straight line method we'll be depreciating 25 percent each year for the next four years now what happens after one year passed the asset is not now in the condition that it can uh, work for more than uh, for three years more so now management decided to revise that estimate from four years total life four years now we are going for uh, maybe three years in total now one year has already been passed and we are now left with two more years for a non-current asset to be used so if we have changed uh, now see in the light of the new information previously we thought that the asset was durable enough it can easily run for four years but now after one year has been passed we are we have now decided to revise our estimate from four years life to three years or maybe from 25 percent depreciation per year to 33 percent depreciation per year now this is known as change in accounting estimate let me give you one more example previously we charged a provision for doubtful debt of 5 percent but now we thought that the 5 percent provision for doubtful debt is not enough in the light of new information and now what could be the new information new development maybe some of the debtors were unable to pay our debts and they were bad debts and they were irrecoverable debts so in the light of uh, new information in the light of new uh, bad debts we now increased our provision from 5% to 10% so whenever is there is some change like this this is known as change in accounting estimate so it can be change in the carrying value of an asset or liability uh, Carrying value means net book value. If there is a change in asset or liability or the periodic consumption of as an asset, I already explained. Uh, previously, we thought that asset could be used for four years. That now we think that asset can only be used for uh, two years or maybe three years. That therefore, this is a change in accounting uh, estimate. So there are two things. One is change in accounting policy. One is change in accounting estimate. Sometimes it can be very confusing uh, to understand the difference between change in accounting policy and change in accounting estimate. Now I'm telling you a general rule so you can uh, see whether the change in change in accounting policy or estimate. General rule is that whenever there is a change in recognition criteria. Uh, recognition criteria means whenever we are changing uh, the time the asset liability income or expense is recognized in income statement or balance sheet for example previously we recorded a revenue that is sales when we actually invoice the goods not but now we are changing the recognition criteria uh, now what we have decided we have decided that whenever we deliver the goods to customer we will be recording our sale revenue this means there is change in recognition criteria or change in measurement basis previously we used to measure assets on cost but now we are measuring asset on net book value therefore there is a change in measurement basis uh, so is there any uh, if there is any change in criteria recognition criteria or presentation presentation means the way accounts are presented previously uh, we uh, we charged carriage invert may, maybe in uh, cost of sales and now we are charging it in expenses although it's not correct uh, i'm just giving you an example if we are changing criteria or uh, when a, an asset or liability or income and expense is recognized in the accounts or whenever we are changing its presentation where it is shown in the accounts basically the format or we are changing the measurement basis uh, for previously we used first in first out and now we are using last in first out or some uh, else method or we are using from cost to net book value so again there is a change in any of these this is known as change in accounting policy or if there is a change in anything other than these things 
these three things this is known as change in accounting estimate i have already given you an example of bad debts of doubtful debts change in provision or there can be one more example such as warranty provisions uh, whenever we sell goods we give warrant to warranty or guarantee to our customers that if the product is faulty uh, due to some workmanship or some due to some manufacturing error you can always return the product or we can repair or replace whatever is possible if we are changing uh, our uh, depri uh, the, uh, warranty provision this is known as change in accounting estimate so i hope you understand the difference between change in policy and change in estimate now let's move to the accounting treatment uh, whenever there is a change in accounting policy the application should be retrospective this means we can go we should go back in time uh, and we need to restate all the comparative figures if there is a change in accounting estimate the estimate should only be changed prospectively now what does prospectively means prospectively means if the change only affects current year that is 2019 we need to revise only the 2019 accounts and not the previous account and if the change also affects future years we also need to revise future values so prospective means from 2019 and onwards and retrospective means we have to go back in time and to correct the accounting figures of all the years that are presented if the change happened in 2000 uh, for example uh, 10 we need to change the 2010 values then 11 12 all the figures would be changed for all the previous comparative figures so this is the difference between retrospective application we need to go back in time and prospective means this year and future years now uh, thirdly we have one more thing covering in ias that is ias 8 also governs uh, if there is an error in the accounts now there can be two types of errors one can be immaterial error or other can be material error if there is an immaterial in the uh, error in the accounts we just need to correct current year figures that is immaterial error would be dealt as uh, dealt as prospective application but if there is a material error in the accounts and what does material error mean material error means my dear students any error that affects the decision making of users uh you already are aware of what does the term user mean user mean the people who group of people who are using accounts there can be shareholders there can be management there can be uh, government bodies regulatory bodies these are users if any error affects the decision making of users it is known as material thing material error is always corrected retrospectively means if the error originally occurred in 2015 and we are now correcting it at 2019 not only the 2019 figures need to be corrected but all of the years ranging from 2015 till 2019 all needs to be corrected so all the comparative information that has been presented with this year accounts all need to be corrected so i hope students i was able uh, to Uh, give you the hint site about the highlights about IS 8 accounting policies uh, accounting estimates and accounting errors let me recap it once again for you there can be change in accounting policy or change in accounting estimate uh, if the change in there is a change in policy or there is a change in material error they should be dealt with retrospectively means we need to go back in time and change all the comparative figures all the financial statement of previous years as well but if there is a change in accounting estimate the change in accounting estimate take place because management exercise judgment and the judgment can sometimes be correct sometimes it can be wrong because there is an estimate because there is some new information in the light of some new information there are the new development the estimates are being revised so whenever there is a change in accounting estimate estimate is always applied as prospectively means the estimate if it affects current year this should be dealt with the current year only and the current year account should be restated and if it affects future years the future years should be also corrected as well so thank you students if you haven't subscribed yet kindly do it now thank you